Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I'm gonna help you find the best curly hair stylist for you. Now there is a difference between getting a curly haircut and a regular haircut. Unfortunately, us curly people, we just can't be going to any salon all willy-nilly, you know, your nearest super cuts because it's just not gonna turn out right because there's specific steps that need to be taken if your hair is curly. Now, obviously the best thing to do is to go to someone who specializes in curly hair. And that means you're gonna get what is more popularly known as a Diva Cut. Diva Cut is related to Diva Curl and that whole brand. And they kind of just branded that name of the curly haircut. But technically there are stylists out there that know how to do a dry cut that may not be Diva certified. I personally would suggest you going to someone who is Diva certified because it's just, just going on the safe side and they obviously know what they're doing. But you want to get a dry cut, meaning cutting your hair while it's dry. This is my natural shape. This is how I always wear my hair. Why would I go into a salon with my hair straight to get it cut? Like that just makes no sense. Do you guys? See how long my actual hair is? It's like all the way down to here. If they cut this, like, oh, let's just make it up, you know, here. That's gonna shrink up to who knows where. It's just not realistic to know how your haircut's actually gonna look at the end of the day, how you normally wear it day to day if you get it cut while it's straight. So 100% do not get your hair cut while it's straight. You also don't want the stylist to brush it out. That means they're now elongating your curls longer than they usually just naturally sit and they could once again cut off more than they need to due to shrinkage. Now I have gotten a diva cut, dry cut at multiple different places. One of my favorite places to go is Curls One on One in Beverly Hills, California. Those two stylists that I go to actually were at the diva salon that used to be in Culver City that unfortunately closed down. And then they branched off and created their own salon. So now I go to Donatella to get my curly haircut, the one you see now. I need to go back in for a trim. Actually, my bangs are getting a little long. And I go to Ezzy for my highlights and my color. They are sisters and they are amazing. If you go to their Instagrams, I'll link them below. You will be blown away at the curly results that people get just from leaving there. Like you go in wavy, you leave curly. They are miracle workers. Another one of my favorite stylists is Felicia. She used to also be at that same Diva Curl Salon in Culver City, also branched off, created her own salon, which is a little bit further from me, but she did my first two Diva Cuts ever. Still amazing, and she's located in Long Beach, California. Now, if you live in New York, you guys have the actual Diva Curl Salons, like, at your fingertips. There's two diva salons that you can go to. Plus there's one in New Jersey that I just found called Utopia that has amazing haircuts. If you guys saw my story recently on Instagram, I was like obsessing over their like reshaping that they do. Also amazing. So those are like California, New York. I mean, we, we got it going on. That's just how it is. But if you live anywhere in between, there is a way for you to find a Diva certified stylist, and that is by going to the Diva Curl website. On the Diva Curl website, you'll see in the browse bar that there is a stylist search. Go there, put in your zip code, and you're gonna see a bunch of different salon options come up. There should be at least one in every state. But don't just go off the first one that pops up. You have to do your research. I'm sorry, curly girls and guys. It just takes a little bit more effort for us because we don't, we've worked so hard on our curls, we just don't wanna risk getting a bad cut. So now I want you to go to that salon's either Yelp or even better Instagram. Look at their photos, look at their work, look at their comments, maybe even write someone that has posted a haircut and like tag them. Get real feedback so you know if their salon is worth it. Instagram is the future. If you're a stylist and you're not on Instagram, like you basically don't exist. So do your research. Now, how much should you be spending on these diva cuts? <sighs> that's, that's another tricky part. I personally think it's very unfortunate that us curly people have to spend so much. Like if you have straight hair, you could go to super cuts. It might not be the best cut ever, but it is possible to get a $20 haircut if you have straight hair. If you have curly hair, our 
base price for a curly cut is like $80. More normal is like $100, $120. I know certain stylists charge up to like $200, $250 for a haircut. I just think that's really steep. And it's like no offense to any of my stylist friends that do charge that much. I know you are amazing and you are like worth it and people are paying for it. So why not? But eek, that's, that's just a lot and it's going to discourage a lot of people from going natural. There's affordable and high end to everything. We've got normal fruit and we've got organic. We've got CVS and Walmart and then we have Sephora and Ulta. Like, I get it, you know? So there's gonna be high end salons and normal, but hopefully you can find a stylist that's not really gonna break the bank. Now, even if 80 to $100 sounds like a lot to you, this is an investment, but it's going to be worth it, especially if you have no idea what to do with your hair. If they are a real diva certified stylist, not only do they give you a haircut, but you're gonna leave there more knowledgeable about your curls. They're gonna tell you maybe like the porosity of your hair, how healthy it is, what products you should use, what you shouldn't be doing. They're gonna ask you about your routine, they're gonna give you tips and tricks. So you're gonna leave there with a bunch of knowledge and an amazing haircut. Now, this is the most important part of the video. I want my comment section to be almost equal, if not more valuable than this video because I posted something on Instagram about all these stylists and I got a bunch of direct messages telling me stylists that you guys recommend, which is great. There's a reason why we're called a curly hair community. We are a community because we're all here to help each other and we have to stick together. So I want you to leave a comment with a hair salon that you recommend. But before you comment, I want the very first word that you say to be the state and city on where you are. Because people aren't gonna be able to read your entire comment and then be like, oh, it's in Ohio. Like I want you to put Los Angeles, California, and then you can say whatever you wanna say. Cleveland, Ohio, whatever you wanna say. New York, New York, whatever. So put the city and state first in capital letters. So people can just scroll through the comments and look for their city, state, or country and have a nice recommendation to go to. Please tell us what you got done at the salon. Did you get a big chop? Did you get a trim? Did you get a reshape? Did you get your color done there? Leave a nice detailed comment to really help someone that is really struggling as to finding a salon in their city. So now I'm giving you guys three ways to find an amazing curly hairstylist. You could either browse the comments below, one, you can go to the Diva Curl website and do their stylist search, two, or if you go to my Instagram, you also see that I have different highlighted sections. In my hairstylist highlight, that is where I'm going to keep all the stylists that I have been to and or recommend in different states. So if you wanna find a stylist that I recommend, click on this little story on my Instagram and you could see everybody that I recommend and that's just gonna stay there forever. And by the way, on my Instagram, the little thing next to it where it says shopping, that's where I keep all my promo codes and the link to my Amazon store to buy all the products that I recommend. So once again, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I don't know what you're doing. There's so much great content and more helpful tips that you could utilize if you just follow me at Ms. Bianca Renee. So maybe you don't need to do a big chop. Maybe you just always run your hair in the middle part, it's really flat or just down to the side, like there's no volume. Maybe you should try layers. Layers is definitely gonna help you get that volume if you have very fine hair. Or if you wanna try some bangs, it also gives you a much more full look. So I suggest this year to switch it up a little bit. Maybe do a side part, maybe get layers, maybe go a little bit shorter, experiment. Life's too short to have boring hair. And some of you do. I know I did. My hair was extremely boring until I made this channel. And then I got a little inspired by you guys and just the curly hair community. And here I am, lighter, layers, and with bangs. I actually have always filmed every haircut that I've gotten, even like the color that I've gotten. So you could check out my haircut playlist and you could see one, the worst haircut I've ever gotten. If you wanna know what a fake diva cut is, yeah, watch that video. I show you my first proper diva cut. I show you when I did a big chop and I cut off all of my non-damaged hair. You can watch that haircut video. I've showed you how to cut off damaged hair on my cousin in Florida in a salon. There's so many haircut videos. 
I 100% recommend that you watch those so you know what you're getting into before you go to a curly haircut salon. If you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, or found my comment section helpful, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. So I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee, today.